Welcome to Presbury Road. You've not been on this job before. Um, have a look at the before photos of this because it's come along uh, quite a way from when we first turned up on site. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's, um, it's December. Um, we finished this project a few weeks ago. We come back to, to film a video because we've recently put the planting in. Um, well, what, what do we, where do we start really? It's a lovely courtyard garden um, on a Victorian property in Macclesfield. Um, but when we turned up, it wasn't a very lovely <laughs> courtyard garden at all. Uh, there was remnants of an old pond, the lawn, if you can call it that, was threadbare and stodgy and not particularly attractive at all. There was nowhere really in, in terms of kind of usable reception space or patio. So the idea was the client wanted somewhere that they could come out here, user friendly, practical, um, somewhere for their young grandchildren to run around on. So we've installed some artificial lawn here on this project. They wanted to retain some of the period features. Um, one thing I'll stress on this project is pretty much everything we've used is, uh, is reclaimed. Um, we've used the stone flags that the client had lying around in the far part of the garden. We've used reclaimed Cheshire brick to form this lovely cobbled brick path up to the uh, bottom of the garden. We've used more reclaimed brick here to form these raised beds and they, they blend in really nicely with this uh, heritage behind here. Um, we even used reclaimed slates uh, to re-roof the old outbuilding. That would have been a toilet at one point, but what we've done is actually knock through an area here. This is going to be a log store for the client's log burner. Um, we divided what the, the, um, the footprint of the building was and uh, installed a new gate. I mean, our best not to show you in there. <laughs> but that's how we all live, so that's, that's the reality behind the closed door. Um, there's somewhere for clients to store their bikes and all sorts of bits and bobs in there. Again, reclaimed paving at the bottom of the garden, reclaimed sleepers, um, all everything on this uh, project was constructed using our evolution power tools. So we've used our evolution stone cutter to cut through the York stone, um, use our evolution uh, compound mitre saw to construct these decking areas here. We had a bit of hardwood lying around uh, in our yard, so we constructed a hardwood bench there. Very classic shot of my crush there. <laughs> and we've also created a bespoke dog kennel. The client had um, a cat flap which they wanted to disguise, but also it also acts as a, an in and out for their two dogs as well. So a lovely little kennel there for the dogs to sit in. Another log store underneath the hardwood bench there as well. And a herb garden right next to the window for the client. At the moment I think they've just planted some sycamore in there for some seasonal colour. So all in all we were here for about, we were here for about 15 days. But do have a look at the gallery attached to this video because I think you'll be surprised at just how bad this garden looked beforehand. Um, find out more about home ground landscape gardening by visiting us online at www.myhomeground.co.uk and by visiting us on YouTube and on Twitter and if you're watching on Facebook don't forget to like and share, leave a comment, say hello, um, keep it clean though and um, hopefully we'll be posting some new, uh, some new videos in the new year. It's Christmas time, it's December so hope you all have a lovely Christmas and thanks for watching. Bye bye.